All right, we're checking out the only game where you buy a best friend only to keep him locked inside of a box where you feed him candy until he eventually gets congestive heart failure. It's cut the rope. As you can see, you have to take your, your nom nom over here and make sure that it grows up with oh, diabetes yeah. by feeding it candy nonstop, forever. This is the only food that it lives on at all. They may say, why, Gray, is the candy held with various physics puzzles. It's so that you have to burn calories in order to get the candy, okay? We're trying to maintain some level of physical fitness. So if we cut these two, look at that, right there. It's like a tremendous amount of just random stuff this candy does. So you get no stars if you go that way. How do you fire backward? Okay, so cut, cut. Oh, okay. As you can see, I'm, I'm dealing with pumpkin now. You may say, oh, well, great, that's great. It's a vegetable. No, this is actually just a candy in the vague shape of a pumpkin. It's the illusion of eating healthy, see? Okay, so if we cut and then cut. Okay, I just need a little bit more oomph. Look at him, he's like, he's like, I'm so hungry, great. Just, just, it's right there. Just stick your tongue out. Perfect. If you think about it, it's a lot like Fruit Ninja, except instead of murdering fruit, you're murdering this creature over time. Bubbles will lift the candy. Okay. Oh. Wow. Oh, but then, but then it just rises up infinitely. So you can bust the bubble. Don't let the candy leave the box. We couldn't have our candy falling into the wrong hands. After all, God forbid someone malnourished should have the opportunity to eat any of this candy. I'm gonna try and do like a long swing here. I just wanna see if it works. I screwed that up completely. Okay, let's try that again. One more time. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go around to the left. All right, close to getting them all. I'm getting, I'm getting the idea. You just gotta kind of be quick on some of your cuts. This is great because you can have basically a sugar high, but also an incredible intellectual puzzle at the same time. See, we're developing our brain and our fat cells. Glucose is good. Nope. I actually needed this thing to kind of like levitate over to the side slightly. Here's what I mean. Oh, it, did, it didn't bounce on over to the right at all. Aha, okay. This may work, this may not work. We'll find out in a second. So. I would have to release at just the right time so that the bubble goes up. This is way too much brain power. This is way more brain power than I ever thought I would have to do. Oh, he just eats the bubble. Nothing like washing down your candy with a mouthful of soap. Uh, what is this? What is going on inside of this box this thing came in? Like, how is the box slowly evolving over time? This creature has the iron, like the Tony Stark of boxes that was sent by Amazon. The box is worth more than the creature. So release. Oh, okay. So as long as you're within range. Wild, all right. This is like the most ridiculous Batman of of like crazy situations that you have to do in order to get this candy from one side to the other. Oh my God. Okay, cut it, swing it, let go. Cut it, swing it, oh my God. Yeah! <laughs> it's oddly satisfying when you get it. Stretched out, ropes turn, oh! So there's like tension on, oh my God. There's like tension on these ones. Uh-huh. Ah, yes, nothing like defeating all of my glorious AI companions, such as Ivan, or I don't know, P Penelope, I'm assuming? What is this? This is like a depressed piece of moldy tofu. So now you've got, oh my God, you've got bubbles, you've got, you've got stuff, you got all kinds of that. Some of the stars are inside of the bubbles. Unleash the superpower. I have superpower. Oh, I have telekinesis. Uh, okay. I love that in order to activate my telekinesis, I have to take a latex glove and pull it over my head. I don't look like someone with telekinesis. My creature looks like something that deserves to be in prison. Uh, oh. Okay. How, how, lo how long do you get to telekinesisize for? Oh, and you can cut at the same time? What? Okay, hold on, let me, let me, let me check something. Pop it. Oh, you're like pushing it away. I got it. 
This is ridiculous. It's not even like telekinesis. It's more like the candy just doesn't want to be your friend. It's like violently trying to escape you. Uh-huh. Okay, this is, this is barely ridiculous. Pull it, pop it, waggle it. Oh, I think I cut too late. Gotta pull the cord on this stuff like super fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, all day. Here we go. How do you feel, Om Nom? He's like, I feel like I'm going into cardiac arrest. Fantastic. That means that we're getting somewhere. I love that now the candy is protected by medieval spikes. This is where we've gotten to. Eventually there's going to be like an entire city built inside of this box. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh. -huh. uh uh, I cannot believe I did that on the first try. I am terrible with puzzles. I don't finesse puzzles. I brute force my way through puzzles. Uh-huh. Uh. Oh my god. I lost the race, I think. I don't even know what this race is for. The race is to find out who is the least abusive to the, to the, the, uh, the nom noms or whatever they are. Ever since these spikes have gotten on the screen, I have become, I have, I'm amazing at this game now. I've got a bunch of money, so I figure I can get a new candy. Uh, let's see here. Strawberries, why is there fruit in here? Wouldn't want, oh my God, there's a pineapple. Now normally, I would say no to any fruit, but I always say yes to pineapples. I'm surprised there's not just like an atomic bomb or something in here. There's something really random. We are inside of a different box now. We are inside of the toy box. Now you can bounce inside of the toy box. Like so. Oh, I'm allowed to get a new rope. I love that my rope went from brown to less brown. Uh, is this like a, hold on. <laughs> okay. It's not even a balloon. It's just like a balloon that has terrible gas. You can make the stars magnetic, okay? Do I have to wear a different hat in order to do this? Oh, I don't I don't get like a fancy hat or anything. Now the stars are attracted. Okay. Oh. No. Okay. Cut. And then I have to like fall and bounce, but like perfectly. Hey! But there's nothing to move me over to the creature. Oh. What worked? Huh. So we meet again, horrifying nightmare creatures that long for happiness but will never achieve it. Good to see you all in this race. This one's kind of wild because you need to be like, <laughs> you need to be like spot on with so much stuff that's happening. Actually, I could just do it this way. You don't need the stars anyway. You're gonna end up dying of all the cavities you have. It always blows me away that they draw this thing with so many teeth. Huh. So there is a way to easily do this one. You can activate the magnetism and then cut it. And the stars should just be pulled toward it. And then it can just go into the Nom Nom's mouth. It shortens his life slightly, but it also increases your amount of stars. Well, I say, I say, <laughs> decreases his life slightly. It decreases his life like a lot. Okay, so now you need it, but the target, ah, is tilted. Got it. Take two out of three. Kind of ridiculous mobile insanity is going on here. Harder, harder. Hey, phrasing. Yeah, I kind of want all of them for this one. Okay, so you cut the first one. Got it, okay. <laughs> Alright, first cut, second cut, and then you just have to be kind of like cognizant on where you're releasing on the third one there. You look like a milkshake that regrets all of its life choices. Just give up and let me have the finish line for this one. Uh huh. So, pull it, let go, pop, swing. Oh my god. Pop! <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't have a third one over here. Don't mind me. Just using the power of the cheats. <laughs> this, if there's one thing I've learned so far, is that having superpowers is the best way to get anywhere in life. Uh, what? Oh, the top has teleporter. Okay. That makes total sense. 
Oh, I finished first. I did it. Great. What happened? My, my pineapple's already been abused. Like, it's already in two different halves. Why? Do I have to... Do I have to, like, get it together somehow? Oh, you do! Okay, sweet. Perfect. I don't really know what sort of weird molecular science is being used to fuse my pineapple halves together. I feel like physics matters in this game, except for when it doesn't. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That worked out surprisingly well. I do appreciate that after, like, every single level, there's some sort of new thing that happens to try and ruin your life. Okay. Got my two halves. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's it's right there. I don't know if that was how you're supposed to beat that board, but it worked. Okay, now everything's just going like unreasonably fast. <laughs> Again, I think it's just the brute force method. It's not really thinking of how to intelligently solve the problem. It's just blowing air as hard as possible. Okay. Oh. What was that? Hold on. So, what's going on with the stars? Wait for it, 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 wait for it. Now? So, I don't know if you had to use the magnet for that or not. I really don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. It worked. And then, uh. okay, I, I have fused my pineapple together. Perfect. In the race for diabetes, there can be only one. I don't like that. I want more stars. Now I'm kind of addicted to getting the stars. No. Ah, I wasn't fast enough. This. Ah. Uh. Come on, keep bouncing. Come on, very slowly. You got it, a little bit further. You can do it. Game's starting to break a little bit. That's fine though. Do it, do it. Yeah! I never thought that patience would reward me like that. You look like a regretful shoe insert. There's no way for you to win. And then we have like a cyclopean snail. So these stars are timed. You only have a certain amount of time to actually get the star. Okay. Pop the bubble, swing it. Huh. I was wondering how the hint system worked. It actually worked surprisingly well. <laughs> did I... Did I win? I have come in first again in the race to death from overeating candy. I am once again successful. Well, I finished first, and the only prize I got was an early death. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Got the Rope. Till the next time, stay foxy about slot.